All right. Now, as I said, in this section, we're worried about um, graphs and whether or not they're going up or down. And so the idea here is you want to look at when is a function increasing or decreasing. And what you do is you say, as you move um, from left to right, you need to ask yourself, what do the y values do? question is are they going up or are they going down okay and then we're gonna write down this like the intervals of which these are increasing or decreasing so let me start with this function or this graph right here so let's call this part a and so if you if you move from right to left the x always move from right to left you can think of this as this function is like a hill you'd see that the hill is going downhill as you move from left to right so we say that this function is decreasing from left to right from negative infinity to x equals 0. And then it starts going uphill. So the y values are going up from 0 to 2. OK, so let me do this. I'm going to shade all the x values where the function is decreasing and that would be from negative infinity down to zero. And then if I shade all the x values where the function's increasing in teal, that would be from zero to two. And then you can see that this graph is decreasing from two to infinity. Okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna record the x values of where the function's increasing or decreasing. So I've shaded the graph in purple where it's decreasing, and then I've shaded the x-axis in purple where it's decreasing. And now what I want to do is write that down. It's decreasing on the interval from negative infinity to zero. Um, at zero, it's not really increasing or decreasing. The graph is completely flat. It's at the bottom of that bowl. And then it's also decreasing from two to positive infinity. And then where it's not decreasing or, or remaining constant, it's increasing. And that's from 0 to 2. OK, now if you look at what I'll call part b, you can see that as we move from left to right, the function starts off increasing. And then it levels off, and it's constant from negative 2 to 2. And then it decreases from 2 to infinity. So I'll shade the part where it's, de where it's decreasing that's from 2 to 6. And you can see here there's, a, there's a, a circle there stopping it. So the function's only defined until x equals 6. So I'm going to say that it's decreasing from 2 to 6. Um, it's increasing over here. So the x values there are negative infinity up to two, negative 2. So it's increasing from negative infinity up to negative 2. And um, it's constant from negative 2 to 2. And I actually think that should have that, those all be open brackets there. Okay, so the, the, the part I shaded in black is where the function is completely flat. It's not rising at all or falling at all. So that's where it's a constant function.